Broken Bells into the Blue album review. Let's chat about it. Hey friends, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat about this latest album from Broken Bells, aka uh, James Mercer of The Shins fame, as well as production extraordinaire Danger Mouse. Uh, they've been working under this project name for quite a while now, even if they haven't released a ton of material together. And when it comes to their debut self-titled album, I stand by my thoughts on the album. I don't think it gets enough credit. It's not perfect. It's not an absolute fantastic space rock and space pop and indie pop recording. But there is so many great tracks on there between the high road and the ghost inside. There are so many great memorable hooks and just a solid collection of indie tunes on there. I don't think it gets enough credit. I had a lot of high hopes for Broken Bells, which leads me to their follow-up album, uh, after the disco, excuse me, honestly, oh God, I've, I've been disappointed about it ever since. And trust me, it's got great, great moments like Holding On For Life, Medicine too. But overall, I, I was just not into what the band was doing anymore. As a collective, they sounded unfocused to me and James Mercer instantly sounded bored. Now, leading up to this new album, I thought a lot of the singles were really enjoyable, pretty solid all around. Um, so much so that I figured I'd give this a listen and you know what, I'm glad that it did because I don't think this is a perfect record but this is at the very least Broken Bells getting refocused and reinvested in their music. We're not in orbit yet early on the album. Gonna be honest with you, this track took me a while to get into. This was the first track released from the album and honestly, it's a plus five minute single that takes a lot of guts. But it's a very sweet, sentimental spacey ballad that has a lot going for it it's classy the strings are really nice and instantly james mercer sounds completely reinvigorated in this project i mean like when his heart is truly into something his vocals are legendary and that's what we get here it's a great track i do really like invisible exit as well this one's a little bit more stripped down and once again i have to just commend how much more invested in this project a danger mouse and james mercer seem because this track is graceful it's sweet, it's really charming too, even if it sounds like an overly decent modern Shins track. And I was worried about Love is on the Run. It's a seven minute monster of a track, but it is really classy once again. The immaculate horns that we get here in this absolutely beautiful atmosphere are really, really detail oriented and I love that. It makes this track a breeze to listen to. It's so beautiful and full of love too. It's impressive. For this seven minutes, I cannot be in a bad mood. I'm glad to see that Broken Bells are really refocusing on this album. There are some pretty obvious iffy moments, though, like this album's title track, Into the Blue. I don't know. I'm just not crazy about this track. It's a little too full of itself. It's a little too hazy. And usually, those are things that I don't actually mind about the music of Broken Bells. I mean, you need some pretty big, ambitious ideas to make a project like this work. But this is painfully average. While this atmosphere is very spacey, very neo-psych oriented, it has nothing to fall back on. That and this dime a dozen plotting instrumental is just not for me. I think this is one of the worst tracks here. It's kind of boring. And Fade Away as a finale, I mean, it's not the worst sin committed here, but it's certainly a mixed bag of a track. I mean, I do have to take a moment to shout out Danger Mouse. I mean, you know what you're getting from him. The immaculate production is here in spades, and I will say this. It takes a lot of tracks on this album, really ups their quality. And on Fade Away, he does great with it. I love the somber feel of this track, too. But it's just not a complete track, mostly because I don't think James brings his A-game here. Outside of the chorus, that is. It's not a bad track, but it's a mixed bag. And the rest of this album is kind of a mixed bag, too. Like, take, for example, One Night. I've got so many mixed feelings here. I actually love the glitzy instrumental and the big chorus. As a matter of fact, it's one of the most memorable here. But I'm telling you, James, once again, sounds lost, especially on these verses. But Saturdays, for me, has been nothing but ear candy since it came out. I really love the bulky, sort of neo-psych-oriented riff. It's something new from Broken Bells, and I commend that. Like, in a weird way... I hear this and I listen to like some of like the modern garbage that the shins are putting out these days, the weird ideas on there that nobody wants to hear. Like I hear a track like this and I actually can 
understand where James's mind is at these days a little bit more. It's a whole lot more coherent, too. Forgotten Boy is a hell of a deep cut. Man, what is this? When did they break out Space Blues, and why is it so freaking good? This is so downtrodden and tragic. I love how broken down this riff is, and I love how incredibly somber James's performance is on this track. In every way, this is the kind of risk I wish we heard a little bit more of. Uh, but the chase is really good, too. This is, once again, a very spacious, very atmospheric space rock tune with another very emotional and sentimental performance from James Mercer. Like, this is a very real track. There's a lot of human emotion to this track, despite how weird and hazy and psychedelic it gets at times. It's a fantastic track. So this duo still obviously has a lot more to offer still, and that makes me pretty happy at the end of the day. A lot of this album is them getting refocused and putting together a much more cohesive album than their last one. And yes, it's still a little bit more of a mixed bag than I personally would like to hear, but if that's my only nitpick, this is still a very solid indie pop album. If you like their last stuff or a fan of James Mercer or Danger Mouse, you're going to want to hear this. I just wish it was a little bit more consistent, but for now... I don't have any problem at all giving this a very decent 7, but let me know what you all think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, friends.